and we're going to do something super weird. <laughs> um, so I'm personally working a lot with my neck and shoulder these days. I've had some real gnarly stuff in there. And um, I had a session with one of my teachers yesterday, and it was pretty cool. And I'm going to share this today. So we've done, I have videos up where we're working with the head and neck, where we're pushing head into hand into head and we do the rotation and all that stuff. And he yesterday took it another level because he said, why just rotate here or potentially here if we have so much more movement ability in the head? So let's say I put my right hand to my right cheekbone and my right temple. And the hardest part is going to be is not to have the elbow out to the side, but kind of have the elbow close to the body. So I'm going to hold my hand to my head and I'm going to push my head into my hand and my hand into the head. And you can feel that there is some work happening on that side. Now put the other hand maybe to the back of the head. And, and again, we're trying to do it more like here. Yes, rather than here. So I'm going to let my, I'm going to push my head into my back hand and I'm going to, pull with my front hand, my head to where it used to be. And I'm going to push my head into my front hand and I'm going to push that hand away and I'm going to try and resist with my back hand. And this is totally, you can even close your eyes here. This is totally weird. You're kind of holding your head and you're moving your head around by pushing into your hand, but you're resisting with your hand kind of like our regular head work head and neck work and then let's maybe put the hands into a different position and you're going to push with your head into the hand and then you're going to push the other direction maybe you're pushing back so the chin might lift up and then you can push forward into that head hand again I hope this makes sense. You got to go super slow and really feel as I push, let's say, in my right hand backward, I'm, I want to almost hold back with my left hand. Let's put both hands in the back of the head, elbows close, and I'm going to push my head back and I'm going to lift my chin up, keep your kidneys back, and then put one hand onto your forehead and you're going to push with your forehead into your hand. Let's put both hands back again. I'm going to push and be sensible about how much you're pushing here with your hands, right? You don't want to yank on your neck or head. Let's put the right hand on the forehead and push your head into your hand. And then let's do maybe one more minute. Keep your breath and you should, and I'm not going to guide it. I'm going to want, I want you to just play with your head here. How non-linearly can you move your head and your hands with each other? And you're cradling and you can keep those elbows really close to the face and you're going to explore range and force and force meaning just power strength resisting isometric and in a way it's actually eccentric contraction if we are pushing against and slowly releasing with keeping the force or the the power in the muscle that's a great way of Lengthening and strengthening at the same time. Very good. Let's do one more breath. Maybe move your hands one more time around. And just feel. Oh. And let's let the hands go. Hands on your legs. And just feel this. Close your eyes. And just. 
check out what's going on. <laughs> and there's nothing that I can say, this has to be going on. It's more like inquire, collarbones, neck, head, maybe your brain is saying, what is that? 